India is a land of extraordinary natural beauty with an archaeological heritage of immense value. Unfortunately, in the last hundred years, more historic monuments have been destroyed, more artifacts stolen, and more oral traditions lost forever than in all the years our civilization has existed. Over 20 years ago, Prime Minister Indira Gandhi felt the need for an autonomous organization responsible for historical sites that were unprotected and didn't come under the purview of the Archaeological Survey of India. The Indian National Trust for Art and Cultural Heritage, INTAC, was established in 1984 with Rajiv Gandhi as its first chair. One of INTAC's main objectives is to create an awareness of India's heritage. INTAC has 140 chapters nationwide, including chapters in the UK and in Belgium. A dedicated team is responsible for making INTAC India's premier non-governmental organization in conservation. INTAC members play a catalytic role in engaging public interest and in influencing government policy to protect historic sites from negligence and vandalism. INTAC advises government agencies on development of policies and on guidelines that preserve the rich pluralism of India's cultural fabric. Fragile ecosystems, heritage villages, monuments, dying oral traditions and handicrafts, they all come under INTAC's umbrella. The Architectural Heritage Initiative plays a major role in archiving, documenting and restoring historic structures. Conservation architects working on projects extend their activities to the grassroots level to ensure community participation. Conservation and protection extend to historical buildings, to the adaptive reuse of such properties, to resource mobilization, to the improvement of social and economic conditions in backward areas, and to community skill development programs. INTAC has successfully placed several major sites on UNESCO's World Heritage List. The Material Heritage Initiative restores and conserves art objects such as canvas and mural paintings, fragile fabrics, old photographs, manuscripts and other precious memorabilia. Thirteen specialized art conservation centers spread across the country have well-equipped modern laboratories with trained conservators. INTAC is also involved with the conservation of India's environment. The Natural Heritage Initiative examines afforestation, lake, wetland and river management, revival of traditional water bodies, and sustainable ecotourism. Decentralized wastewater treatment, recycling, integrated rural and urban management plans and natural habitat management are also areas focused upon. The Heritage Education and Communication Service aims at inculcating a sense of national pride and ownership in the younger generation through innovative interactive techniques such as essay and painting competitions, debates, books, newsletters and heritage clubs. INTAC has recently embarked on the preservation of living and intangible art forms. 
the Cultural Affairs Division, organizes annual cultural festivals and performances by eminent artists at historical sites, greatly enhancing the magical experience of traditional entertainment. Seminars and workshops are regularly organized. A prominent example is the seminar held in Nagar, Rajasthan, on Asia-Pacific Creative Communities, a strategy for the 21st century. For 20 years, our teams of dedicated professionals and volunteers have been motivated by the challenges and accomplishments of INTAC's objectives. INTAC has been fortunate in getting support from the Government of India, from international agencies and from corporate houses. Periodically, grants from institutions such as the Getty Foundation in the USA, the Helen Hamlin Trust, the Charles Wallace Foundation, the INTAC UK Trust, Jaisalmer in Jeopardy, have all helped INTAC in its endeavours. While a lot has already been achieved, we still have a vast corpus of treasures in need of protection, restoration and preservation. INTAC is dedicated to the conservation of India's unique and ancient heritage. You too can be a part of an effort to preserve this legacy for future generations. <laughs>